Welcome back to Great Lakes Junction, everyone. Well, we have another car to start working on. My son just got a 2013 Hyundai Elantra, and we've got a couple things we need to fix to it. We've replaced some burnt out bulbs and things already. But these rear seat belts, uh, your shoulder belts for your rear passengers, they've been frayed. I don't know if a dog chewed them or something like that. I'll show you one here. And that will not pass a safety check. Besides that, it won't slide through the buckles and stuff as it needs to for to fit a person in the back seat and whatnot. So we need to replace these. So all that we've done so far, we removed the mat uh, in the trunk there that just lays in the bottom. So we've pulled that out. The side panel in the trunk is held in with a, a bunch of plastic push clips, just like this one that you see over here. So we've taken the side panel off on the driver's side of the car because I wasn't sure where this retractable mechanism is. I thought maybe I could get to it that way. So it's easy to get the panel off. So I did that, but I don't think that's going to help me at all. Uh, but I'm going to leave it off for now just in case I need to get my hands in through a hole later on. So this trim piece, we flip the backs of the seats are flipped forward. That's the latches in behind there where the seat snaps into the back of it so these plastic push clips need to come out to remove that trim and there's a couple of different tools or ways you can do that i'll just go around to the other side of the car and show you that one so if you have one of these this is a trim removal tool you can see the shape of the end if you can get in behind the button and what I have to do, these are kind of sunk into a hole so they're flush. A small screwdriver, and we're just going to pry up the edge of that a little bit so that we can get our tool in underneath that button. And you want to work it in all the way so that the tool is supporting as much of that button as possible. And then it just pops them out. Now, if you don't have one of these tools, you can buy them. Most automotive stores have them. They're relatively cheap. Another thing you can do, I'll push that one back in. So it's back in. Another thing you can do, a pair of needle nose pliers that are bent kind of on a 45 degree angle. And you can buy those cheap also. Same thing. My screwdriver's in the middle of those pliers, so I'm going in on each side of that button and just wiggle it in there. Again, you're trying to support as much of that button as possible. And then you can still pop them out the same way. So either way, you can pop those all out. And there's also... So we popped out that button and that one and down in, if we can see it. There's one Phillips head screw down there. We'll take that out. Now, down this side where the seam is, there's just some plastic popped in clips. They just pop out. And then that piece of trim is off. Let's move on to, we're gonna have to remove the uh, bottom of the seat. It's gonna have to come out because wherever the seat belt is anchored, it's obviously underneath the seat. It's gonna be anchored to the frame of the car. So the first thing we need to do, if you take the back of the seat and just tilt it forward a little bit, halfway. You'll see a bolt that bolts through a steel bracket here into the subfloor of the car. So those bolts need to come out first. There's one on each side. I've already got this one loosened right off. There, that one's already out. They were quite tight because there's a lot of rust on the back end of them. Of course, in our area for winter, we get a lot of salt on the roads and things like that that are exposed under the car, tend to rust quite a bit. Now we'll clean that up. Okay, now there should be a couple of clips under the front of the seat. I think all we need to do is push the front of the seat in. And by that, 
I'm talking this area that would be behind your feet when you're sitting in the car push that in and I think it pops up out of the clips there's nowhere as I can comfortably put the camera stand that's not in my way doing this stuff so I'm gonna have to keep doing something then bringing it back and showing you okay these seats also have an electrical wire coming out of the bottoms of these seats and I'm not sure if this has maybe heat uh, seat warmers in the back maybe or something I'm not sure what that's for but we'll have to undo that before we actually take the bottom out this is a relatively simple clip try and hold the camera so you can see so that white portion right there if we push that one up I don't know if I can do this with one hand we we'll need to push that one up and then pull that plug out on that end I don't think I can do this with one hand. And then there's a B in here bothering me also. Oh, there we go. And, and the bottom of the seat where I thought there was clips, you had to push this in and lift up. You just have to pull it straight up. That's where uh, the clips just push straight into that. There's one on each side and there was a piece of Velcro in the center that just pulled up and off. So that should. Seat belts, there's a groove made into the seat the seat belts just slide out of that groove make sure our wires are not caught on anything and that takes out the, the bottom portion of the seat and there is the anchor bolt where our seat belts anchored into the body so we had to take the bottom out to get at that anybody lose any money in here doesn't appear anybody ever lost any change out of their pockets of course nobody uses change these days so another reason we had to take it out I believe we may have to remove further these side panels as well as the backs of the seats yet uh, the backs of the seats I'll cover it doesn't look too difficult to get these out the side panel trim I believe the screw is gonna have to come out here because this piece is slid underneath that one so we'll have to take it out that might give us enough movement to slide this one out from underneath once we get the back of the seat out, we'll see what sort of clips or screws might be on it. It's underneath the weather stripping. Just a little bit. I think it'll just slide out from under the weather stripping. And then we may, may need to remove this back plastic piece to actually get into where the recoil mechanism is for the seat belt. Because as I said, I took the side panel off in the trunk and it just doesn't allow you any access to it yet. Okay, so there's just a piece of cloth that's velcroed on the bottom of the seat. Now this is the back of the seat flipped all the way forward. I think we're going to start with one bolt that's over here on this bracket. I believe this is just part of the hinge bracket. I'm hoping by taking the bolt out we can slide this side of the seat forward and slip it off of the pin they use on this side for the hinge. For that side of the seat it looks like we will have to remove these two bolts that are bolting that hinge bracket to the floor and then that one should slide this way off the pin that's on the other side
All right, so that gets the backs of the seats out of the way. Now we will have to stop and we'll have to take a look at what and how to remove something next. Some of those clips hold on very tight. That one up in the top corner, this one right here. I don't know if you can see it there or not. This top clip on this side panel where it was snapped in, it's very tight. Okay, so that's removing the side panels. So we had to pull that door rubber trim off just enough to pop it off there. We could stretch this up and pull the bottom part out. And then it was just prying it, pulling it down off the clips that are up here at the top. So we're getting closer to it. So now I'm not sure if these panels have to come off. This piece does have to come off, but I don't know if these comes off first or if this comes off and slides out from underneath it. I played around a little bit on the other side. This starts to come off very easily. Just a couple of clips that pop in, but then after that it gets extremely tight. So maybe this one has to come out first and it just slides out possibly, I don't know. So that's what I'm gonna figure out next. Okay, this piece of trim was a little trickier, but I finally figured out how it comes off. So I'll start with pulling that rubber off a little bit for the door trim. This part pops out easy enough. Just that one clip, that one's really easy. After that, it took me a while to see what it was. Your flashlight, fairly long, straight screwdriver, because the other two clips are up in quite a bit, and just prying on it doesn't seem to want to pop them out. Really tough spot to see. I'll show you when I take the panel off where the clips are. Almost wiped up the camera. Okay. So, panel sits in this way. These bottom two that are here, obviously you can see they didn't hold anything. Once you get them all popped out, it just tilts this way and those two slide on on the bottom. The two that were the difficult to get at was this gray tab here and this one here. The gray tab is, I don't know if you can see, there's a hole, kind of a plastic plug right there. That's where that gray one pops in. So you can get a screwdriver in here underneath that and pop it out. And this second one is that slot that's right there. You can see the kind of a rectangle shaped slot the same thing, I got a screwdriver in underneath this and just pried it out so it just popped it straight out from that groove there. Side airbags are up in here, sensors and stuff for it, so be very careful up in here with your screwdriver. 
So our next step, and our hopefully our last step, is this panel here across the back. Now I'll take the camera and go around to the trunk for a minute and show you what you need to, clips that you'll need to squeeze together. Looking at things from inside the trunk, you'll see a series of these little white tabs underneath here in the trunk. Just pinch those together with a pair of needle nose pliers and they'll push up through. And those are attached to that panel that we need to take out in the back window. So I've got all of those from under this side squeezed and, and started through the hole. So now hopefully we can just pull that panel out from the like inside. The, the brake light that's in the middle of your back window is in this panel. So I think just to be safe, we'll take that, see if there's any electrical plug there that's gonna be in our way. Okay, there was a plug on there. We undid the plug. I don't know if we needed to or not, but. Yes, we did have to undo that plug. The wire is attached to the body of the car that it would not have moved with this. Okay, now the seat belts. There's a slot made in this panel itself. So the sleep seat belt will slide out of that slot. The same on the other side and the one in the center. They've made a slit in the plastic housing here. So that one can be slid down through it. And there's our panel out. Okay, a retractable seat belt mechanism right in here. So we got a 14 millimeter bolt in the top of it. Okay, there's our retractable seat belt. No wires, no sensors. Now I don't know if they're all like that. Maybe some of the higher trim models or something. This is just a base Elantra, Elantra. Um, if you know, you can Sonata or something like that. Uh, a little bit higher end. Maybe they've got some other sensors on these seat belts that you'd have to watch for. So the only thing left is the anchor bolt in the floor that was underneath that seat. And this thing is out. So tomorrow will be a trip to the wrecking yard. Let's see if we can find a couple of new ones of these that aren't all ripped up. Maybe I'll take one of these with me to the wrecking yard tomorrow just to see if I can match up the color. It's kind of a dark gray color, so uh, it may not be hard to do. So that's everything being taken apart. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Reassembly is obviously gonna be in the reverse. So that'll likely conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching.